Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where we'll be diving into one of Excel's most powerful features, conditional formatting. This tool is fantastic for making your data more insightful and easier to interpret by automatically applying formats to cells based on their values. Whether you want to highlight high sales numbers, identify underperformers, or visually represent data trends, conditional formatting can help. We'll cover how to use different rules and techniques to make your data stand out and tell a story at a glance. First, let's explore highlight cell rules. This option lets you highlight cells that meet specific criteria. For example, to highlight all sales figures greater than 100, we can select the range, go to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, choose Highlight Cells Rules, and then we're going to select Greater Than. We can enter 100, and we'll apply a green fill with dark green text if the sales figures are above 100. We can then repeat for those figures below 100. This makes it much easier to see which companies in our data set have high sales and which ones have lower ones. Next, let's use top and bottom rules to identify top performers in our data. For example, if you have a list of exam scores, you can highlight the top 10% of student scores. Select your data range, go to conditional formatting and choose top bottom rules, and then let's select top 10%. You can adjust the number if you wish, but in this case, we will focus on the top 10%. We can then click OK. And as you can see, it has highlighted the scores of John and Charlie. Since we have 20 students, these are the top 10% or the two best scores in our data set. Tip 3 involves data bars. These provide a visual representation of values within cells, similar to a bar chart. To apply data bars, select your range of cells, go to Conditional Formatting, and choose Data Bars. We can then pick a color that stands out to create an immediate visual impact. In our case, we are shown sales data in a range of countries for various companies. All of these values range from zero to a million, and as shown, if the figure is close to a million, then the bar will cover most of the cell as a bar chart would. Next, let's consider color scales. Here we have a range of cities and their temperatures, and we want to apply a color scale to quickly identify which cities are colder and which ones are warmer. Here we can use color scales which use a gradient of colors to represent the distribution of values. In our case, we will use blue for colder temperatures and red for hotter temperatures. To use color scales, once again, select the range, go to conditional formatting, and this time choose color scales followed by the color scheme that best fits. We can quickly see that Birmingham and Bristol will be warmer, while Liverpool will be colder. Next, icon sets, which add symbols to your cells based on their values, which can be arrows, stars, flags, and more. Here we show the profit margins over time. We can select the cells, go to Conditional Formatting, and choose Icon Sets. As you can see, this adds a quick visual indicator to the data. We can see that 2016 and 2018 were generally good years, while 2017 and 2021 were more challenging years in terms of profit margin. Tip number six involves custom rules, which are helpful for more complex scenarios. Here we have eight dates, and we want to highlight the dates which fall on a Saturday or Sunday. To do this, we can go to Conditional Formatting, click New Rule, and then use a formula to determine which cells to format. 
we can then type the following formula, which checks if the date in cell N17 is a Saturday 6 or a Sunday 7 when the week starts on Monday. We can then select format and we'll apply a blue font if the condition does hold. As you can see, it's highlighted the first date and the bottom two as these dates on either a Saturday or a Sunday. The final bonus tip is managing rules. Managing multiple rules can get tricky, but Excel makes it relatively easy. Go to Conditional Formatting and click Manage Rules. Since we have selected cell C5, it only shows the rules corresponding to cell C5. However, if we click this worksheet, then it shows all of our rules. Here you can edit, delete, or duplicate the rules. And this ensures that your data looks exactly the way you want. So that's a deep dive into conditional formatting, which I hope helps to make your data more insightful and easier to read. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for more Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.